Hopefully this won't come out too bad. I'm shooting it on my phone this time. Right, T500. I've stripped down the column uh, and removed the end. We've got a little bit of mould and mildew built up, so we've just done a regular wash with a scrubber on the ring and the end screw cap. Stripped out all of the media and separated the copper all I do now is just add some citric acid on a couple of teaspoons chucked in that jar fill it up with water and leave it to do its thing give it a little shake and just a larger scale for that big pile of stainless I'll put it in my jug and do the same thing and just mix uh, probably three four teaspoonfuls and just get enough water to cover over the top and just agitate it every so often and when that's all done I will use an old brew bucket or you could use tank and put that in and then we'll just circulate some down there I don't know whether I was going to pick it up you can see a little bit on the outlet pipe that's just the little copper housing that the tailpiece screws into and down there is the coil you can just about see there's an odd ring still stuck in there that I can't get out despite giving it a little shake but I might just rig this up and just normally people tape tape up around the bottom just to uh, reduce the amount of water that will come out uh, so you can keep flushing it through with some cleaning I might rig a little pump up just to pull it up and then drop it around so that will just continually circulate through and we'll see how that goes. Well here we are the next day you can see the water's gone slightly bluey greeny tinge with the oxides coming off the copper and not much you can really see going on here just a bit of rubbish floating in the top of the water so we'll dump out this solution and uh, strain it out. We've refitted the seal. Obviously those stains are there forever now. You can't get them out. Not even bleach works on that. I have the same trouble with the hoses on the brew system. It's just one of those things, beer stains. We fitted the uh, tri-clover gasket on the top there, which is a silicone one. And then just the nut securing it's the same as your original. So, just a rinse. Put the filter screen in the sink. We do the same with the copper, we'll just empty them out into the colander and give them a rinse. As you can see they look a lot cleaner now and that's what we're left with. So basically we just repeat the process with the column now and finish flushing that through then rinse that out with water as well. Obviously got Fortunately, yeah, I've got a deep sink, I can do it here, but if not, you could go outside and use your garden hose or even your shower if you don't tell the wife. Well, hopefully you might be able to see down there and that's nice and clean now, or as clean as you're going to get it. 
and we've added the threaded fitting I might have to change the original seal to a silicone one there isn't it's just about tight just nipping on it but uh, it might might not be enough so I'll show you that now and then we'll uh, repack the column so there you go this is just my adaption at the minute because I generally run one and a half inch tri clamps and the T500 takes two inch uh, so I've got some reducers there and I'll just use one of my regular sight glasses but normally obviously you just uh, take the option of having two inch but as I already had one and a half inch equipment it was easier just to uh, run a reducer for now at a later stage I will probably buy the glass column with the bubbler plates your media that goes inside your normal column uh, and your fitting would normally retain it back there just about which screws into the end of your column stops everything falling out so you need to either use a stainless steel or copper scrubber stuffed in the end to hold it up and take the place of that because if not everything's going to fall out your column the alternative is to use a filter screen which is bonded into your tri-clamp gasket obviously that could fall away when you remove the column so I personally would still pack the column with some form of copper or stainless scrubber but this now gives you the opportunity to place this at the base of the column as your uh, end piece and use this as a gin basket or any other chamber that you choose to use uh, wherever we have it so you could use something like this which is a spool tube obviously again this is a one and a half inch tri clamp you'd go for a two inch uh, which is a cheaper option than using a glass one you just don't get to see the action but it achieves the same desired result as having a glass one but you can pack this with media and do that but again you could use this and a sight glass a combination of whatever you want so you could pack this area with your various botanicals and put another filter in the top there so it doesn't keep blowing up and that is your easy mod um, basically it's your choice what you put between the two unions um, you put your bulkhead fixing which is just your one with a nut you can buy either with both with nuts if you want to use it for something else get multiple uses out of it and fit one to your column and then what you put between it is entirely up to you and your budget so packing the column is a bit of a tedious job yeah some more various gauge tricamp filters but uh, basically yeah it's drop the copper in first keep tapping it and settle it in and then carry on with the stainless rings you should get everything back in that you took out have a little tap and now and again I'll help settle them in you don't want to overdo it though but uh, if you left the one or two after it's not going to be the end of the world another tip get yourself a big old workshop funnel and just trickle them in makes life a lot easier and saves you having to pick them all up off the floor when you drop them okay there you go it all went back in with a room to spare just about so I've just got a stainless steel scrubber so we'll pop that in the end that'll just give us a fighting chance should we take the column off we're not going to drop everything out and then belts and braces I'll put that one over the top what I will do though seems I haven't used it for such a long while I will run some water through first and just let it push some steam through to clean everything out and just give it a final whiz before we uh, press it back into use but that's it for now all the best cheers